Hey guys, this is Gab, so Pinoy Travel Freak, and welcome to another travel vlog. Nandito ako ngayon sa kaka-open ng na island dito sa Pilipinas. Guess what? I'm in Boracay. So bago natin explore yung Boracay Island, balikan muna natin kung paano kami nag-travel dito papunta sa island galing ng Manila. Timers sa Boracay, bibigyan ko kayo ng mga tips and ideas and travel guides on paano pumunta dito on a budget and at the same time, paano mag-commute. Papuntang Boracay, you have different options. So, pinakamabilis is you book your flight from Manila from from Naiya, papunta sa Katiklan Airport. Pero ding option na from Manila, you can book to Calibo. Pero yung advantage ng paglipad to Katiklan is malapit na kayo sa Jetty Port kung saan yung jump off point papuntang Boracay. Sa Calibo naman, Pagdating yung Kalibu Airport, you will need to travel for about uh, one and a half to two hours papunta ng Jetty Port. Ang advantage naman ng Kalibu is that mas mura yung flight doon. Manila to Katiklan normally is mas mahal yung flight pero mas mabilis kang makarating ng Boracay. Manila to Kalibu medyo matagal ng konti but mas mura yung ticket. Uh, another option kung, kung ano yung ginawa namin, we book our flight from Clark to Katiklan. So mas mura yung ticket. Ang Air Asia meron silang flight from Clark to Katiklan. It's our boarding time now for our flight here in Clark to Katiklan, taking Air Asia. Ayan, so packet na kami ng Air Asia. Ang disadvantage ng Manila, if taga Manila ka, if taga South ka, mas malayo sa yung Clark. Pero pag taga Norte ka, mas advantage kung fly out kayo galing ng Clark. Pero if ever naman na galing ka sa, sa, sa South, pwede naman kayong mag-travel papuntang Clark. Actually, madali lang. Akala ko nung una, mahirap siya. Pero madali lang pala kasi merong mga P2P bus. Especially yung Genesis. So may meron silang P2P bus papuntang Clark. Um, meron silang pick-up points sa uh, Naiya. I think yung earliest trip doon is 4.30 if I'm not mistaken. Tapos every hour yung yung bus. Meron ding pick-up points sa Robinson's Galleria and Trinoma. So yung pinili namin is yung sa Trinoma. Yung earliest trip doon is I think 3am. Tapos every hour uh, umaalis yung bus papatang Clark. We were able to catch the 5am bus papatang Clark International Airport. The fare is 280 pesos per person. And since 5am sobrang bilis lang ng biyahe. Akala ko it will take about 3 hours. Dumat Dating kami ng Clark International Airport after 1 hour and 40 minutes. So, ganun siya kabilis. And isang tip pa is, kung gusto nyo mag-Clark, uh, mag mag-via Clark, you have to allow 4 to 5 hours before your estimated time of departure. Isa sa mga advantages pag nagbukas sa Clark is that hindi crowded doon, unlike sa Naiya. Uh, meaning, konti lang yung mga aeroplano doon, meaning less delay. Which is true kasi we departed earlier than the estimated time of departure. We landed like 23 minutes ahead of schedule. From Katiklan Airport, we need to travel to Jetty Port kung saan kayo. Sasakay ng ferry papuntang Boracay. Sa airport doon, may nag-offer doon ng transportation. Actually, ano siya package na siya. I think it cost 700 pesos. Balik kasama na yung transportation galing ng airport papuntang port. Environmental fee, terminal fee, at saka yung ferry fare. Pero we found kasi 700 pesos to be expensive. So yung ginawa namin, pagdating namin ng airport, lumabas kami sa arrival area. Tapos paglabas ng nun, sa tabid nun, merong terminal ng tricycle. Actually, first time ko pala dito sa Katiklan Airport. Then, 50 pesos yung ano, 50 pesos per head lang yung ano, tricycle. Hello, sir. Yan. Saan yung next? Bayad doon is 50 pesos per head lang, special na. So, dalawa kami, we paid 100 pesos for the whole tricycle na. Then, after 10 to 15 minutes, nasa ano na kami, uh, Jetty Port. sa tinatawag din na Boracay version 2.0. And sa mga first timer ngayon, since after the reopening ng, ng Boracay, meron na mga bagong rules na in-enforce yung municipal government. Pagdating mo kasi ng uh, Katiklan Jetty Port, the entry port papotang Boracay, yung first step doon is pipila ka sa tourist verification counter. 
Then, so we have to the tourist verification counter, and you have to show your hotel voucher before you can enter. Do on chine check if you have a booking or hotel voucher. Make sure that before you go to Boracay, you book kayo in advance. You have a hotel voucher or booking confirmation that you can show on the tourist verification counter because they check it. Then, make sure that the hotel that you booked is Na, nandoon sa list ng DOT accredited resorts and hotels. I will link it down below. Hello. Dalawa lang. Agos Boracay. Okay na ha? They, they're doing this kasi they're trying to control or regulate the number of tourists in an island at a time. Hindi ka nila papapasukin pag wala kang booking confirmation. After noon, pag nakapasa na kayo, you will proceed sa payment for environmental fee, terminal fee, tsaka yung ferry fare. We paid 250 pesos lahat. Tapos napasok na kami sa loob ng terminal. Ayan siya. Dalawa. After 15 minutes, dating kayo sa Kagban Jetty Port. Yan yung entry port sa sa Boracay. From Kagban Port, kailangan nyo pa mag-travel pa sa resort nyo. So, depende kung sa kayo nakabook station 1, 2, 3. O, merong nag-offer doon ng mga tricycle, e-trike, meron din shuttle. So, meron silang ano dito, uh, tricycle or e-trike. So, tingnan natin kung alin yung mas mura or mas mas convenient sa amin. Since gusto namin makatipid, pwede kang sumakay sa regular tricycle yung punuan. 20 pesos per person ng yung bahay doon. From the port, nag-travel kami na 15 minutes sa punta sa resort namin sa station 2. Nakatipid kami compared dun sa pag kumuha ka ng package transportation dun sa airport na 700 pesos, mas makakamura ka eh pag mag-commute ka na lang and madali lang naman. namin dito sa Boracay and I'm vlogging right now dito sa accommodation namin which is Agos Boracay Rooms and Beds. Sobrang laki ng room namin. This is the family room. It is good for actually six persons. So, dalawang floor siya. Sa baba, meron dalawang beds na may pull out. So, meaning, pwedeng apat yung magstay sa baba. Tapos, may isang double bed sa taas uh, for dalawang person. Agos Boracay is just along the highway siya. It's five minutes walk to the beach. So, sa station 2 siya. I'll give you a quick tour inside her room here at Agos Boracay. Oh, 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 oh,